The U.S. Constitution is the oldest written constitution of a nation still in effect. It's been running our government since 1789. It's also one of the shortest, originally under 5,000 words, 52 of which make up the preamble or introduction to the Constitution. But those are powerful words. The preamble contains the mission statement of the U.S. government. It says who we are, what we do, and why. The first three words, we the people, are the most important and written in the largest script. But who are we the people? When the framers wrote those words, voting in most states was limited to white men with property like them. Thus, the original Constitution did not consider landless men, women, indigenous people, or the enslaved as equals to the elite. Since then, much has been done to right those wrongs. Through political change and a series of constitutional amendments, the term, we the people, now applies to more Americans than ever before. So what are we the people doing? We are taking our power and giving it to the Constitution. Not the King, not Congress, not the President or the courts, the Constitution. This idea is called popular sovereignty. The government's power comes from the people themselves. So why are we the people creating the Constitution? The first answer is to form a more perfect union. We are saying up front that we have made mistakes and our job is to keep making the American nation better. Other phrases in the preamble set out all of the jobs we want the government to do. Establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and future generations. The preamble is written in the present tense. That means we, the people, today, are still choosing to give our power to the Constitution. It's our oath of citizenship. It means that we continue to strive to create a more perfect union every day. So what can you do to create a more perfect union?